video on mute and take away the show. Sarah? All right. Thank you so much, Ken. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Perkins, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Designer Share, the first truly peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for women to rent their designer clothing and accessories to one another. I think we can all agree few things feel better than putting on that perfect outfit. You stand a little taller and feel like you can take on anything. But for women, this feeling comes at a higher cost than for men. We can't get away with wearing the same suit all the time and have to be constantly changing up our wardrobes. God forbid you wear the same outfit on Instagram more than once. Uh, to give an example of this, the typical black tie gala outfit can cost almost $9,000 if you want to be wearing high quality pieces. With a platform like Designer Share, you're able to rent this at a fraction of the cost. Let's take a look at our market. According to Brookings Institute, by 2025, the sharing economy is going to be worth $335 billion. What tech claims that by 2023, online clothing rentals will be at $1.9 billion? About 90% of that will be completely peer-to-peer, -peer, which means we get to take on a $1.7 billion market. Why are we so special? It's all about the community we've built. Instead of having a corporate face behind this, owning all of the pieces, our um, items on the site are truly coming from women here in Chicago to start with, and they're able to share them with our renters. Women naturally bond over sharing clothing, so this is a feeling that they've already experienced before. But this time, they get to be entrepreneurs from their own closets, holding on to 75% of the price that they set per week. Our renters are those who are looking to further themselves socially and professionally, but don't have the means to be buying high quality brands. This way, they're able to wear designer on a discount and feel confident from the inside out, ultimately leading to major happiness for everyone. Our model is based on taking 25% of the uh, price that our lenders set per week. We suggest that this is about 10% of original retail value. So for example, a dress that was worth $450 originally would be about $45 for a weekly rental. Renters are able to rent from one week all the way up through five weeks, giving them the chance to try these pieces out more than once. Our lender protection fee acts as a form of insurance to cover any sort of human errors that might happen. When we don't experience loss, this $5 on every transaction is a revenue stream for us. We have a very low cost of goods sold as we don't hold on to any of these pieces in-house and we don't dry clean them in-house. We have our dry cleaning partner, which is Procter & Gamble's Tide Spin we have a gross margin of 65% as a result of this. Our marketing strategy is in three parts at the moment. So currently, since we launched seven months ago here in the Chicagoland area, we are creating brand awareness so that we can get as many women signed up on the site as possible. From there, we'll be targeting our signed up users through email campaigns, social media campaigns to remind them about designer share and educate them as to our process as to why they should be using us versus buying fast fashion or going to a consignment store with their items. On top of that, we'll be creating uh, richer network density by getting our referral program out there. We already have the referral code system built, and this way we'll be able to get these women's friends on board. Uh, even though we're currently serving only a 35 mile radius with free door to door delivery, we are working on the logistics for our national shipping program so that we can open up the Chicago closets beyond. I think some of you have probably heard of a little company called Rent the Runway, which has clearly paved the way for women's clothing rentals. Unfortunately, they're a typical pipeline and a very high cost business model. And also they are completely corporate face, so you don't have this opportunity to be able to connect with other women. Uh, we do have a small uh, set of competitors out of New York, but they haven't been able to go beyond the city. They tend to do a bit of a hybrid by housing some of the pieces in-house and dry cleaning them. And they don't take the same steps that we do by offering free door-to-door -door delivery and by splitting the cost of dry cleaning between our users. Our team consists of myself, Sarah, as the CEO. I was a former lifestyle editor and journalist and have always loved fashion. I have my marketing degree from Santa Clara University. My co-founder is Bill Meyer, and he's our chairman as well. He was a corporate litigator for 20 years and is currently getting his MBA at University of Chicago's 
Booth School of Business. We were family friends and came together on this idea two years ago. And then we have our community manager, Danielle Wink, and she has a wonderful background in fashion PR. Together with our small team of part-time interns, we are able to push the designer share word out. Looking at the next few years, we plan on having 2,000 transactions by the end of our first fiscal year, which will be April 1st of 2018. Going from there, we uh, estimated our projections based on a typical platform marketplace and also based on Rent the Runway's first few years. As I mentioned before, Tide Spin is our dry cleaning partner, making it very simple for our users to keep their items in good condition. And Lyft is our delivery partner here in the Chicagoland area. We've also had really amazing press in the Chicago Tribune on WGN, Chicago Inno, and Chicago Woman. We're also starting to work with Shoe Drop, which will help take care of any sort of leather goods such as shoes and handbags. I want to thank you all for listening today. We are currently raising a round of $350,000. 100,000 of that has been committed already. We are closing the round at the end of this year. So it is time for you to join the DS domination. And I can't wait to talk to Al Zaisi further. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Sarah. This is Ken again. I'm going to go ahead and give Al Zaisi control of video and turn them off. Al, can you hear us? I can. Okay, great. All right, Al, um, I'll turn myself off and let you go ahead. So I'm assuming you're a tra transactional fee based, right? Correct? Yeah. So what, what are you charging per transaction? We take 25% of the price set by our lenders. Okay. Uh, so like, are you responsible for any damage or who's actually responsible for the damage of any garments or any of the accessories? So with that $5 lender protection fee, we're able to cover small damages such as rips or a stain through tide spin. And beyond that, in our terms of service, we do state that our renters are the ones that are responsible for the full retail cost of an item. However, if there is ultimate loss, our company will self-insure up to $10,000. Okay. So you control the entire financial transaction, correct? It's all done just like the Uber model. It's all done on your platform. Exactly. Yes. We use Braintree as our payment processor. Very good. Nice job. Thank you.